welcome or welcome back to my channel okay so i haven't said that in a long time i don't think i've posted in like months but it's not because i didn't want to it's more because i was tired of going through the hassle of not having storage on my phone because all my last videos they were recorded on my phone but this one's being recorded on the camera so i have a lot more storage i should have a lot more storage now and i should put it out videos more consistently i wanted to come back with like a college week in my life because someone just happened and i transferred schools i moved i'll probably update in another video next video after this because i did ask my instagram for questions to ask me so i can answer them on here but i never did so i will finally answer them and like i get ready with me or something like that let me head to class because i am late this is the first week of classes after winter break happy new year to everyone i'm ready to take on this new semester if you're not in school i hope you're ready to take on this year i'm really excited though My throat is some, somewhat congested, but now I can speak. I don't know why professors don't like using their emails to alert us about important things like, hey, class won't start until so-and-so, or class is canceled. No, they'd rather just have us pop up and like go through this little mystery witch hunt just to find out information about this class. But that's not gonna be my worry today. I'm gonna make sure like the rest of my day runs smooth after the class at like, what, 12? So it's good. I just, I'm glad I came late to the class because what if I'm upset if I actually came here at eight o'clock on the dime. longest nap after after i went to eat but i got pizza to eat after my nap because i'm hungry and like i'm not going back outside because it's wet it's hard to record in my room because with my roommate i don't know i just want to respect my roommate and i want to respect myself too because i'm not recording but they're in the room that's weird secondly i think i'm locked out my room so i have to knock on the door really hard It has not been that good of a day. I lost my wallet, but then I found it. Classes have been getting canceled. It's been raining all day. It's really cold. Um, professors have been canceling class last minute and not emailing because the weather has been so bad. I don't know why they didn't just make everything online or something yesterday, but my siblings had like a two hour early dismissal. Why couldn't we have the same or something? Um, <laughs> I'm going back to my house to go pick up no, to go drop off the car, that's what I'm doing because I'm not even supposed to park here. I do not have a parking permit. Do not tell Howard that. But I'm not paying, what, what is it, $700 for a parking permit right now? If there's barely guaranteed parking, that's for one. Um, And two, like, no, like the, it's just not safe out here. Y'all don't have parking garages and people can carjack me. I'm not paying $700 to get carjacked. I'm not paying $700. <laughs> I'm not paying $700 to find out there isn't even parking at all. Maybe in another lifetime, I will. But yeah, I'm driving back to Columbia to drop in my car and then I'm gonna come back. Maybe tomorrow will be better and I'll have like better clips, but yeah. I'll see you guys on the road. Good morning. I realistically, I didn't wanna show you guys this part cause I ended up like coming to my house. I was supposed to come back. But I just ended up staying here because it was raining cats and dogs outside. I didn't want to go back in the rain. So I just stayed at my house. And the next class I was supposed to have today was supposed to be at 11. I thought I could make it. But just for them to cancel the class. Um, so, yeah. That's the story of my life right now. The downside to being here is that... What the? What? Get off my phone. That was why I said being here is that I barely have clothes here, so I need to go back to the to my dorm ASAP. But the upside is that we got plethora of food. I know when people when people go home, don't y'all like, or like if you're in school, like when you go home, when you finally go home after being in college for so long, you go home and you grab as much food as possible, put in your bag, and then take it to take it to school. I'm gonna try to see if I want to take anything here because it'd be buying a lot of junk food, and I don't know if that's what I want, but we'll see. I'll probably make oatmeal today. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so today we are going to make oatmeal and peanut butter 
together. And then I think I'm gonna eat honey bunch of honey bunches of oats. I like Cheerios personally. Honey a bunch. Oh, I can't say it. honey bunches of oats is kind of like it gives old people to me. I know a lot of people like it, but I don't know. I guess I associate it because my mom ate it so much growing up, and I just never touched that stuff. And hers always had almonds in it. I hate cereal with nuts in it. Like, why is it that crunchy in there? But anyway, let's get started. <laughs> I'm about to connect my music to the to the speakers. Hold on, let's see what we're gonna play today. One of my favorite playlists on rotation right now is this one, because it never gets old, it's perfect for any mood. Is this one right here? I can't even see, but the, the cover is They Clone Tyrone. Y'all should watch that, y'all should watch that. Great show, or movie, movie. to charge my hold on i need to charge my phone hopefully noelle and becca and michaela don't have any problem with me recording them but <laughs> we'll see last night we spoke on the phone so much we were talking about so much we were talking about everything that we usually see on twitter like the importance of having a black man in the black family household we were talking about the adultification of black girls we were talking about how the generation before us ruined us now they blaming us we're talking about like old women being bitter towards the younger women instead of like trying to help them and act as mentors or guides also called me or something like that at eight and then we didn't get off the phone till like 11 and then i thought i met her sister and everything but that's why it took me so long to finish my freaking um my calendar but i'm not mad at it so i finished my calendar and it looks a little bit like this hold on this is all my my classes my schedule whatever you can see like my Tuesdays and Thursdays are really busy, but I try to make it that way so that I can have like free time on my Fridays and have like a longer weekend. Then my money's a little light. This is a lab, so it's not gonna be, you know, a constant. I only have one class today, but I think, you know, now it's time for me to go back home. I need to take some of my clothes in here outside of this dorm because it's so much, it's so much clothes. Like I've been folding and hanging up clothes for so long and they're not going away. I might do a room tour of my new room when I'm done decorating that, so let me know. Okay, we made it back to the house. My mom told me that my bed came in, so I wanted to take a look at how big it is. I've been waiting for my bed for a long time. I think it's been a month, because I didn't want to add anything else to my room until the bed came, but it's here. Let's get some light up in here. I hate that my lights are so yellow though. I don't know why I still have this on. I wish like when you got in Ubers, you can request for your Uber driver not to talk so much. But I don't like how every time I'm in an Uber, I'm telling them my entire life story. Little intrusive things about me. I just feel like I don't have to keep telling them that I'm a student at Howard and I study psychology and 
what my parents do for a living, where do I live, and it's my house I'm going to, or do you work, and blah, 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 how old are you? Like, I feel like that's, like, can we just be quiet? Like, can we just enjoy our silence? <laughs> what the frick? frick look at this guy, like, look at this guy. Looks so long. I told him he looked like this TikTok. Oh, don't he look like this TikTok right here? He look like this, 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 um, Sorry, that, that TikTok guy that be walking around saying, um, what would you do if I walk past you? Ugh. I say this. Cause this is what your New York friends be talking about, bro. Okay, so today we are going to the gym. I haven't been to the gym all winter break because it was so hard to do that during that time period because I had so much family around and I had to tell myself like, okay, it's okay to miss days in the gym because you can always pick it back up. It's not the end of the world. Another lesson I learned for 2024, go to the gym because you love your body, not because you hate it. In the beginning, like a few years ago when I had started going to the gym consistently, I was going to the gym, looking at myself in the mirror and kind of dwelling on things I thought were imperfections rather than telling myself I love my body that I'm in. I'm going to the gym because I want to be able to walk in the steps on myself. I'm going to the gym because health is wealth. I'm going to the gym because if I have dental insurance, eye insurance, if I can take care of my hair and my nails, why not take care of my body? Like why not pursue my gym membership, put my gym membership to use? because that LA Fitness membership needs to be getting used. So hopefully this encourages all you guys to go to the gym this 2024, but not just to go 2024, just because it's 2024, but to go for the rest of the year, like stay consistent for the rest of the year and the years to come. I noticed like the gym is always super duper full January. So that's the reason why I don't like the gym during January. I actually stopped going around January, but it starts slowing down. People stop coming around like April, March. That's because that motivation or that kick, that drive that everybody had, New Year's has went away. So now it's more space. I know chat, let me just get ready for the gym because it's already getting late. I know like the clips I got of the gym was probably like really small, but I, it was too many people in there for one and it wasn't, I don't want to say it was a bad gym day. I just wasn't like feeling it as much as I usually do, but it'll come back. Outside is so nice. Like the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's so nice. I think it's about to, um, the sun's about to set soon. So that's probably why. I'm going to have to end the video right here because the, for the rest of the stuff I'm going to do today, it's going to be like really, really boring. I'm going to get my blood work done. Hopefully if the, the thing is still open and then I'm going to go buy my chair for my vanity desk. And yeah, that's it pretty much. So I'll be at the doctor's and I'm going to go to Home Sense or Home Goods. Either one who has a nice chair to match my theme. But I can't wait till my room is finished. But like I said in the beginning, Happy New Year to everybody. And I hope you have a great start to your new year. I hope you have a great ending to the, to the year. I hope that this is your best year yet. I know I'm gonna make it my best year. Like, it's gonna be a good, a great year. Not a good one, a great one, but yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> it's so hard to end all videos. But um, that's it, bye guys.